Facebook.com. Now we are going to study some important facts about circles. That means tenth chapter of our text, circles. Chapter ten, circles. You have been studying about circles from the very small classes itself. That means about from sixth or seventh classes itself, you have been studying about circles. So the basic things about circles are known to you. I am going to explain some important facts of circles. See, here is a circle. This is the center. Put it as C. Now. If A is a point on the circle and the line segment joining the center and this point A is called its radius. This is a radius generally denoted by small letter R. Now P is any point on the circle and Q is another point on the circle. The line segment joining P and Q. That is PQ is called a chord of the circle. A chord of the circle. Now x is another point on the circle and y is another point on the circle line segment joining x and y and which is passing through the center is called its a diameter diameter of the circle the relation between radius and diameter is diameter is double of radius if a radius is rep represented by small letter r then diameter d is equal to 2r diameter diameter d is equal to twice the radius 2 into r means twice the radius now xy is a diameter at the same time xy is a chord also therefore the longest chord of a circle is the diameter of the circle longest chord of a circle longest chord of a circle is the diameter of the circle diameter there are infinite number of radius in a circle we can draw infinite number of radii in a circle. radii means plural of radius we can draw infinite number of radii in a circle so we can draw infinite number of diameters also in a circle there are infinite number of diameters in a circle a diameter means it's also a chord of the circle so the longest chord of a circle is the diameter itself now we are going to study something new about these are the basic things of a circle now we are going to study something new about a circle and line a circle and a line can exist in a plane in three different ways that means here it is a circle and here is a line this is the center of the circle we are taking it as o and this as ab here the line AB the speciality of this line and circle is there is no common point to the line and the circle there is no common point to the circle and the line drawn no common points no common points in this way a line and a circle can exist in a plane that means the line and the circle have no points in common the second one is here is a circle and this is a line naming it as x y this is the circle with the center o itself now the line and the circle have two points in common there are two points in common for the line and the circle drawn here. So, this line is called a secant line. Two points in common. Two points in common to the line and the circle. To the line and to the circle. So, it is called a secant line. This line is called a secant line. This is the second way of representing a line and a circle in a plane. First one is, here is a circle and here is a line, no point in common. Second one is, here is a circle with the center O and a line XY intersecting the circle at two different points. That means, the circle and the line have two points in common. 
two points are there which are common to the line and to the circle. So, this line xy is called a secant line of the circle. The third one is very very important and we are going to study in detail about the third case. That means, here is a circle with the center O and a line is just touching the circle, just touching the circle in this way. Naming the line as PQ, the line PQ is just touching the circle means there is only one point in common to the line PQ and the circle with the center O. The common point, here is the common point, we are taking it as R. R is the common point. So, the line PQ and the circle with the center O is having only one point in common. The common point is R, the line PQ. In such a case, the line PQ is called a tangent line to the circle. PQ is a tangent line to the circle. PQ is a tangent line. So, what is a tangent to a circle? The definition is, if a line and the circle have only one point in common, that line is called a tangent line to the circle. And the common point, here we are representing it by letter R, the common point is called the point of tangency or point of intersection. The point R is called the point of contact, point of tangency. In any way, we can call the letter R. The point R is called the point of contact or point of tangency. Point of contact. Point of contact is R. Or point of tangency is R. So, if a line and a circle have only one point in common, that line is called a tangent line to the circle and the common point is called the point of contact or point of tangency. Both are correct. The point of contact or point of tangency. Now, we have to study something more about a tangent and a circle. That means, here R is a point on the circle and PQ is a tangent through the point R. That means, the circle with the center O and R is a point of the circle or R is a point on the circle. We are drawing a tangent through the point R. That means PQ is a tangent of the circle in a point on the circle. We can draw tangents in another way. That means tangents can be drawn from an external point to a circle. Tangents can be drawn from an external point to the circle. That means in such a way that if here is a circle and here is a point P, we can draw two tangents, one in this way and one in this way. We can draw two tangents from an external point to the circle. So, if we are making this point as A and B, PA and PB are two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. PA and PB are the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. So, there is coming an important theorem based on these two tangents. The theorem is that the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. That means the length PA is equal to PB. The length PA is equal to length PB. This is a theorem and we have to prove this theorem also. It is an important theorem and important proof. Uh, so, you must study this theorem very well. We have to prove. The proof is necessary. So, next is the proof of this theorem. That is, in a circle, the tangents drawn from an external points to the circle are equal. The length of the tangent, the length of the tangents are equal. We are drawing two tangents from an external point to the circle. We have to prove that the lengths of these tangents are equal. This is an important theorem. That is, next we are going to prove this theorem. So, remember all these things, radius, diameter, chord. In the last year, you have already studied one important theorem and that theorem is also we are required for the proof of so many problems. That means, if a perpendicular is drawn from the center to a chord, the chord will be bisector. 
the code will be bisected that means the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a code bisects the code the perpendicular drawn from the center to a code bisects the code these all things are required for doing problems in this chapter so remember all these things that means a circle and a, a line can exist in three different ways in a plane first one is no common point to the circle and the line second one is the line and the circle will have two points in common so the line is called a secant line and the third one is a circle and a line can exist with only one point in common then that line is called a tangent line to the circle a tangent line to the circle the definition is if a line and a circle have only one point in common then that line is called a tangent to the circle now here pq is a tangent to the circle with the center o and r is the common point r is the common point of the line and the circle this common point is called the point of contact or point of tangency we are drawing here a tangent which is a point on the circle r is a point on the circle and we are drawing a tangent through that point r but in this case P is a point in the exterior of the circle and PA and PB are the two tangents drawn from the exterior point to the circle. The theorem next we have to prove is the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are equal. That means the length PA equal to length PB. This is the theorem and we have to prove next we are going to prove this theorem. Okay.